Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another Gore's trailer reaction and I know I've done a lot of these today but Gamescom happened so of course I have to do trailer reactions for a few of the games. So at least the ones that I'm really interested in like you know Far Cry 4, Assassin's Creed and all these other uh, trailers like I, I don't know like I'll probably do maybe one of those in the future. I did Metal Gear Solid so at least that but and Quantum Break I did, but uh, I wanted to do more of the smaller games, and this one is for Until Dawn, which is a horror game on PS4, and this game, if you do not know, it was actually originally supposed to come out on PS3, I remember this game because I saw the trailer a couple years ago, where it, it was pretty much a teen slasher film, except it was a video game, and you used the PS Move, remember the PS Move, right? <laughs> it's like the Wii, ex except it worked better, but, um, the Wii controller, but, um, it was supposed to be a game where you actually you you, you control your character. It's not like all, like turn. I mean, not turn based style. It's not on rails or anything. You actually move your character and stuff, and you're supposed to like find your girlfriend or something like that. And it looked like a lot of fun, except it got canceled or something like that. Now, it didn't even get announced to be canceled. It just never came out. It was supposed to come out in 2012 and then 2003, and it never came out. So now it's coming out on PS4. History lesson over. Let's watch the trailer starting right. Now, it's only a minute and a half long, but let's see if they kept the same vibe of the original trailer, which was a pretty long trailer. I think it was like five, six minutes long. So let's see. A super massive games production. First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back okay. to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Okay. Oh, eight friends. I think in the original trailer, it was only like two, right? Ooh. It looks like a teen slasher Best stranded on a mountain. This one trip we will never forget. Oh, I like this. Oh, what the hell? No! No! Oh, it's just a bunch of crazy people going. Up. All right, live or die. Okay. Oh, Ouija board, of course, you need a Ouija board. You decide. Oh, is it like a story, like, is it like Heavy Rain, in a way? Ooh, we'll die. Oh. Survive, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Alright. Alright. Yeah. 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 Okay. I can combine that. Okay. That looks exactly like what I, the, not exactly, but like the tone and the way, it's not, it doesn't look, it's not supernatural. It's straight up just like a bunch of serial killers going after a bunch of, uh, I guess what, high school, no, college students, uh, just, you know, they're doing their Friday the 13th thing where they're having sex and, you know, smoking weed, having fun and stuff. They're probably going to be the, the nerdy guy and the virgin girl and whatever the hell, but uh, it looks exactly like a horror film, except it looks like you get to play the game, which... I'm really wondering how you play the game. It made it seem like it's going to be a very story-based game. You know, you know, like, live or die, you decide. Like, I get to decide. Like, I don't need to use my, my skills as a gamer. I just say, hey, he, she dies, or hey, she lives, or whatever the hell. So, I'm really looking forward to that. It looks very low budget. I mean, it's on PS4, and it definitely doesn't look like a PS4 game. It looks like... It looks like a PS3 game. I mean, that doesn't mean it looks bad. <laughs> it, looked, it still looked good, but it doesn't look amazing graphically which is fine it looks good it looks good but it doesn't look amazing but i'm looking forward to that uh i think it's a unique looking game uh my big com my big worry right now is that it's going to be a long game like around six seven maybe eight hours long and you're not going to like any of the characters which is you know mostly what happens in uh most slasher films like you don't give a shit about most of the characters but those are over in like an hour and a half this looks like it's gonna be a long game and i don't know if i want to spend time with a lot of those characters even if i'm allowed to kill them later on like i mean they're not gonna kill every single character off in the first 30 minutes which is you know if you hate those characters then it might be a, a an agonizing game but um hopefully it's gonna be creepy it definitely looks like it's gonna be bloody because you see a decapitated head with blood squirting out which i think uh the original like, the original trailer had, like, no blood in it or something like that. But, uh, anyway, I'm looking forward to it. I think it looks good. So, there you go. I think that's probably my last trailer for Gamescom. I might do another one. Maybe one more. But that's pretty much all I really wanted to cover. Uh, yeah, everything else looks great. Don't get me wrong. But, uh, I'm really looking forward to these games that I showed. I know it's a, ran a, a random few games I showed 
Uh, but, uh, I don't know. Those are games I'm interested in to see the trailer. Like, I don't need to see a Far Cry 4 trailer. I'm going to buy it. I am. Like, Metal Gear Solid, I wanted to watch because I, I knew it was going to be silly. That's the only reason why I watched it. But, uh, anyway, there you go. I'm going to give this trailer... I'm going to give it I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. I, I was actually really interested. I'm hoping that you actually give a shit about the characters or, you know, they, they do something. I don't know, just anything. I don't care. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you and goodbye.